Let's walk through how to insert a nasogastric tube, also called an NG tube. First, let's go over what an NG tube is and why we may need it. An NG tube is a flexible, hollow tube passed through the nose into the stomach. Now for why it's used. If the patient is unable to tolerate oral intake due to illness, injury, or disease, we may use an NG tube to administer feedings. We also may use it to remove gas, fluids, or toxic substances from the stomach or to obtain stomach contents and secretions. All right, let's gather our supplies. We will need our NG tube, of course, a tissue and a chucks pad for the patient's chest in case things get a little messy, an emesis basin. Again, patients can vomit during administration and it can get messy. We'll need sterile lubricant, tape and scissors, as well as a cup with a straw. All right, now that we have all of our supplies, we can perform hand hygiene. It's important to remember that NG tube insertion is a clean procedure. It's not a sterile procedure. All right, then we wanna make sure our suction is set up and working before we insert the tube. Having your supplies on the bedside table like this, laying everything out can really help you during the procedure so that everything's within reach when you need it. You wanna position your patient in high Fowler's position, which is sitting them upright like this. Before you administer the NG tube, you wanna assess for any abnormalities in the nasal cavity, or if they're having difficulty breathing out of either nair or a known obstruction. One more thing before we administer, we need to measure how far to put the NG tube in to the patient. We do this by taking the tip of the tube and placing it on the patient's nose. From the nose, take it to the earlobe and the earlobe to the xiphoid process. You wanna mark this location with a Sharpie or a piece of tape. This lets you know how far to insert the tube in order to reach the patient's stomach. And last but not least, we want to lubricate the tube about four to eight inches before we insert it. All right, now we're ready to insert the tube. You want to allow the patient to take sips of water and swallow with advancement of the tube down the esophagus into the stomach. Now, the only reason you wouldn't want to do this is if oral fluids are contraindicated, then ask the patient to dry swallow as you advance. And remember, keep the emesis basin and tissues nearby in case the patient starts to vomit. Now, you'd wanna remove the tube immediately if the patient begins to cough or show signs of respiratory depression, or if the tube just doesn't advance. You wanna stop advancing the tube when you reach the marking that you made prior. We want to clamp the tube and secure the tube with a nasal bandage so it doesn't move around. It's important to know that X-ray needs to confirm the tube is in place before we can begin using the NG tube. And that's how you insert an NG tube. If you need more help with nursing skills like this, be sure to check out these videos. Happy studying, future nurses.